Well, I'm not here to tell you who to vote for, but I am here to tell you who not to vote for. Don't vote for anyone who says, I'll fight for you, because that person is full of crap and has no intention of not only fighting for you, he doesn't know who you are. He or she's just moving on to the next town where they can point at the next sap and say, I'll fight for you. So tired of these politicians and their town hall meetings when somebody stands up and says, I'm pregnant with quadruplets. Um, I've been put on academic probation at the junior college and my milkman hates my guts. What are you going to do for me? And my answer is nothing. But here's the good news. We live in the United States. You can do something for you. Feel free to get a job and fight to keep it. Let me give you a really good example of people doing too much for others and us coming apart at the seams as a society. You guys remember when you were kids and you'd fake an illness and you'd stay home from school and you'd sit there on your sofa and you'd watch daytime TV. Hey, I'm Wally Thorpe, school of trucking. You can get to trucking too, be a long haul trucker, get your license, hit the open road, make a good living. Learn typewriter repair, learn toaster repair. Remember all of those commercials? Every single commercial was geared to somebody who was out of work, but who wanted to work. Why? Well, it's Tuesday, it's noon. Who's gonna be home watching this TV show? People who are out of work. What do people who are out of work wanna do? They want to get to work, thus, they learn to drive an 18-wheeler. Now, look at every commercial that's on during daytime TV. Wrongfully let go by an employer, slip and fall in a supermarket, you can sue. Hi, I'm attorney Lance Bassman, and I'll fight for you. See, the same people that say they're gonna fight for you are the same people trying to get you free crap when you won't get off your ever-enlarging butt that's now melding and becoming one with your sofa. Fixing your screwed up life is not the government's job. And by the way, when does the government do a good job at fixing anything? I mean, I live in Los Angeles. We pay the most in taxes and we get the least in education. I want the government to do stuff that I can't do. Stop a war, end a plague, that kind of stuff. Stuff involving me, stuff involving my family, stuff involving my community, I can handle that. Also, don't vote for the politician who says, I know it's not a level playing field, I'm gonna level it for you. That's impossible. It is mathematically impossible to have a level playing field. What are we gonna do about fat people being discriminated against? Some people are born with one limb shorter than the other. Other people are born with a Brillo head. There's nothing we can do about it. The government's job is to clear the playing field, not level the playing field. Since it's impossible for them to level the playing field, just clear it of all the landmines and all the barbed wire and let us get to work. And don't worry, this is a great country. The harder you work, the more you score, and eventually your team goes to the Super Bowl. So let's review. I'm not gonna tell you who to vote for. I'll tell you who not to vote for. Don't vote for the guy who says he's gonna get rid of all your problems, take care of you, and tuck your kids in at night. You see, humans need challenges to overcome, just like a muscle needs resistance to grow. In a zero gravity environment, an astronaut's muscles atrophy because there is no resistance. The government giving you a bunch of handouts and living your life for you is basically the equivalent of doing push-ups in outer space. Houston, Look, Ma, I can clap five times, just like Rocky in between sets. Big government is like the void of space. It's massive, constantly expanding, and if we immerse ourselves in it, we'll simply wither away. I'm Adam Carolla for Prager University. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. To help keep our videos free, donate here.